Hi, I'm Yuko Martin, Director of Allied Clinical Therapies at Penn Medicine Princeton House Behavioral Health Inpatient Service. Today, I'm going to talk about how virtual reality can help patients who experience anxiety. While you may associate virtual reality with video games, the technology has now become a treatment tool for mental health professionals. Virtual reality, or VR, is a computer-generated 3D environment with scenes and objects that appears to be real. VR users wear a headset that blocks outside distractions and a simulated setting is sent through the lens of each eye, which creates a realistic 360-degree view of their surroundings. The virtual world will respond to the user's head and body movement to simulate a real-world experience. It was once believed that our brains couldn't change significantly once we reached adulthood, but through scientific research on neuroplasticity, which examines how neural networks in a brain grow and reorganize, we have new insights about the brain's ability to modify, change, and adapt in both structure and function throughout life. This is great news for those with anxiety. With support of a qualified therapist, you can retrain your brain to handle life stressors, even the big ones that cause overwhelming feelings of fear, dread, and uneasiness. By using VR technology with traditional therapies, a person with anxiety can be safely immersed in a therapeutic environment and develop valuable techniques such as mindfulness, paced breathing, or calming distraction to cope with heightened stress. Utilizing these techniques increases awareness of yourself, such as your physical and emotional reaction to stress, as well as your surroundings. By gaining this awareness, you can change your perspective and responses to the stressor, even when you may not be able to change the situation. Princeton House Inpatient Service has begun using VR technology through a group called Coping with Anxiety Through Virtual Reality. In the group sessions, patients are provided with VR devices and asked to select two short programs to experience. For the first part of the session, participants can choose from a number of breathing exercises mindfulness, and guided relaxation programs. The second selection focuses on guided imagery and calming distraction, such as a visit to a tropical beach, or a swim with dolphins, or a stroll through a romantic streets of Paris. After the programs are completed, the group discuss how they were impacted by what they experienced, and how to apply what they practiced in VR into their real life situations. The VR sessions were first introduced to patients with both substance use disorders and a mental health diagnosis, and patients who are receiving medical detoxification service. Since then, the program has expanded to patients with mood and anxiety disorders, as well as those who struggle with symptoms of trauma. The goal is to offer the VR program to most patients who want to learn new coping strategies for anxiety. However, the technology isn't used if it's determined that a patient would be negatively impacted by the use of VR technology, such as someone experiencing psychosis. Since adding VR to our therapeutic programming for those with anxiety, 
the results have been very positive. Most of the participants find the VR programs help them relax easily and effectively. Now they can incorporate the new skills they've learned when they meet difficult situations in real life.